Hi everybody and welcome back. I am Donna and this is Donna powered by creativity and in this video I am going to unstuff the 100 envelope challenge. It's not traditional. There's no 100 envelopes. This was my version of it and we still save the same amount of money. My 100 envelope challenge is going towards redoing our master bathroom. And I want to share with you this, right? This is a very old vintage trapper keeper, I guess, in a sense, or whatever they would call it, with the zipper. I dug it out today. Yep, it's stained and used and abused, loved, and so on and so forth. What's in this? Huh. This is where all of my bathroom renovation stuff is going. This will be the receipts. And here is the tracking of what I've purchased so far. And the reason why we are unstuffing this is because some money has to be taken out and put in the bank to pay the credit card bill. Today we purchased drywall supplies and shower guts, whatever the um, diverters inside the walls are, we grabbed those. So I started this, this book, and then they gave me everything that I want or need to look at for the things I need to put in the bathroom. So I thought to myself, back years and years ago when John and I were rebuilding our first house, I kept such amazing detailed I guess books. I decided to make one for this bathroom renovation. But when I grabbed out, this is like so cool. When I grabbed out this keeper, I want to share with you what this used to be used for. Monthly bills, calendar, cash flow report, check register, medical, account info, retirement info, fidelity investments, and oh my gosh, that one right there says dormer issues, um, info. Let me, let me just give you a, a quick backstory. We lived in Long Island and our house was a cape. A cape is a, a small little box, right? It would have been the living room a master bedroom, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen, a flight of stairs right up or a flight of stairs down to a pitched two bedrooms, right? They were pitched, so you could only stand center in the rooms. Well, that was fine when we had T John and I, and then we had TJ, right? But when Vinny was on his way, we decided to dormer. And that means you blow off the top of the house and you build a whole second floor on it. I can't believe that I had a, a tab that said dormer if, if info. That would have been, Vinny was born in 1996. And they started the dormer probably four weeks before Vinny was born. Yeah. So that's in that 1996 to now that what's that 28 years ago. Oh my gosh. So even back 28 years ago, I was detailed about bills, calendars before planners were even planning. So I had to share that with you. And then this is what was inside this, this folder. A prayer for morning, right? But 9-11 stuff. So I, I used to use this binder for when I used to teach catechism. And there was a bunch of catechism paperwork in here. All right. Just wanted to share that with you because if you follow me on my daily savings and budgeting, you're going to see this is going to come into play for daily recaps. Or, or whenever I buy things. All right. This here is going to come into play. This is our sheet 
because each envelope is supposed to have this amount of money. We're going to put our money into here. That's our cash tray. So let me zoom out and then come back in. Hopefully that's a, a nice view. This is my 100 envelope, but the way I do it is I, I had 1 through 9 in here, 10 through 18. So each line had its own envelope because this is the second time I've ever done the 100 envelope challenge. And the first time I did it, I was folding the money, sticking them in this small little envelope. And then when I had to unstuff it, it drove me crazy. And I said, never again. So we're going to do each envelope at individually. And this is, this is over on my dot com. And you can use this, print it once and use it twice. In here, the first row should have $45. And we do. Second envelope should have $126. $125. Six. And look at this. You know, it's sitting here. Let your faith be stronger than your fear. Hmm. That's a whole other topic for getting facing your financial fears. This is row three, and this should be two hundred and seven dollars. One, two, five, six, seven. Now it's not going to look like a lot of money because as I did each envelope, I cash condensed. We should have. Um, 288 in here. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 6, 7, 8. 288. This is awesome. So awesome. This one should have 369. 1, 2, 3, 320, 40, 60, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. $369. Oh, this is unbelievable. This one should have $450. One, two, three, four, and a 50. Oh, goodness. This should, ha this is the easiest, easiest 100 envelope unstuffing that you probably will ever see. This one should have 531. One, two, three, four, five. Let's fix that. Five, 20, 31. Oh, oh I didn't leave a spot for tens. Look at that. I was off by one. Okay, this should have 612. If you have not tried this, try it. All right, 612, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. 10, 11, 12. I am so excited. I thought I was excited when I finished this, but I'm more excited now. 693. 1, 2, 3. So that's uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50, 70, 90, 1, 2, 3. Mm, yay! This is amazing. This is truly amazing. Okay. Next envelope should have 774. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4. 774. Ah, oh, this is so gratifying. This next envelope should have 955. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty-five. O M G. Let's put this binder to the side. This is extremely pretty to look at. Extremely pretty. Uh, you know, it's just. Get my hands out of it. Let's get it a, a thumbnail. And now, what are we going to do? We're going to count. And when I count, 
we are going to we're going to bundle these now Laura Bell Creations in her last video she was doing hold on one second everybody she had a jar with dollars in it and she just went through it and she's like I wish I had the money straps like Donna well years ago we bought the blank ones on Amazon but you go to the bank and you ask them for money straps okay they gave me two fifties I'm like okay I use them backwards and I write on them so let's count out let's count these out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them into thousands so that's one I'm gonna see if I have any more thousands in my stash I might I have that one I could do that one all right I save them and I reuse them and I use them again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's another thousand one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm going to take this one and I'm going to add a zero. Actually, it's got to get done a little tighter for my liking. And then I'm going to cross that out and I'm going to add that to a thousand. I'm going to cross that out. This way I don't get mistaken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two fifties is another thousand. And I'm going to put those fifties to the back. And I'm going to use this one. I'm going to make that a little tighter also. Cross that out. And I'm going to do, ooh, I was going to write 250. Huh. 1,000. 1,000. And now we're going to do, oh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So that's 700. 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. I'm going to recount this. 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 99, 1,000. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 99, 1000. So I'm going to just turn this around. I'm going to cross that off and I'm going to put a thousand. Now this should be $50. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. $50. All right. So how awesome is this? This is truly $50. I don't need these right now, so I'll leave them there. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 5,000, 50 dollars. 5,050. Now, I'm bringing back that Dallas Cowboy binder for a second. Because this is my bathroom renovation, the monies that I need are going to sit in here. I'm going to start with $5,050, okay? Today, we spent $228.96, and $6.83 for a total of six hundred ninety eight dollars and seventy eight cents yeah 
we spent seven hundred dollars out of this money already and I'm gonna round up I'm, I'm just rounding up I'm gonna take out seven it's gonna go to the bank and I will add as needed I'm, I'm rounding up I'm not gonna play with um, so seven hundred dollars has to go into the bank So we're going to take seven. We're going to take the one with the 50. 100, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. I'm going to remark this. To be seven, uh, $300. So I'm going to actually erase that. And I'm going to mark $300 on here. I'm going to put these all together. And I'm going to put them in this folder. And this now becomes the folder for the bathroom. Now, this is from yesterday. This is for the registration to the Ford. This has to go back to the bank, so 700 has to go back to the bank for um, bathroom. I'm I'm not I'm not I don't know how much this bathroom is going to cost. I do have other monies, but I allocated this 100 envelope challenge for that bathroom. So we're going to see how far that will go, and then what has to be added. I did not expect my 100 envelope challenge to be going towards a bathroom. This kind of just happened right before Christmas. But I am beyond grateful that I had this already planned. All right, with that being said, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.